Teams Rooms for Windows also supports gallery mode and 3x3 video. So right now we can see a 2x3 on the front of room display and then on the laptop you can also see that it mirrors that. So the days of only seeing 2x2 video on Teams Rooms is gone. What's interesting about the gallery view is kind of how do you get to it because by default you'll see there is no gallery view button. If I hit the more uh, gallery view does not show up as an option. Uh, for gallery view to work, you can only be in a single uh, display mode. So here we only have one display going. And then on the laptop or some, some member who's joining, they're going to need to share something. So I'm just going to go ahead and share the desktop here on the laptop. And there we go. Now we look at the front of room display. Uh, you see you know, what the, what the laptop is sharing into the meeting. If we bounce over to the console again, we will now see we've got this gallery icon right here. So if I push the gallery icon, we see we have three options. So presentation is what we're seeing right now. I can go to combined view and we can see what that looks like. So there the videos are on the bottom and the shared screen is on top. And then there is ultimately the full gallery view which we'll pick that one and see what that looks like. And there we see all of our attendees, including the plant and the city uh, attendees. And we see down in the bottom corner there, the, sh the screen that's been shared into the meeting. So just by clicking this gallery button, you can switch the different views to how you would like them to look. And we'll take it back to our default view. And that's gallery view on Teams Rooms.